Please tell me you're not one of the many people I see standing on the corner holding a big map. Researching a new destination can be either fun or frustrating, while exploring a new destination can be either exciting or overwhelming. What if I told you there was an app that can take a travel blogger's insightful, informative, and inspirational post about a destination and its points of interest and convert it into a GPS tour guide that you can download to your iPhone for offline use? Well, my friends, there is, and it's called GPS My City. You're watching Landing Gear, where we review the latest travel apps and travel gear. When the app opens, you're automatically presented with the city you're currently in. For each selected city, you will find two types of content, city walks and travel articles. And there's a light version and a pro version. The light version will allow you to download all the content and read it offline, but you'll have to put up with the ads and you won't have access to all the maps. Each guide will run you about $4.99 American, while the individual travel articles will run you $2.79 American. The GPS My City app is the main app and acts like a library for all the in-app city walks you purchase. However, you can also purchase the individual city as a standalone city walk app. Now, before we get into all the good stuff, let's quickly take a look at the bottom menu of the main app. Magnifying glass is your search. Downloads stores all your downloads for offline use. Account holds all your account options while more holds more info relating to the GPS My City company and the app settings. Let's search for a city, my favorite, Toronto. And let's start with city walks. Each city has a city walk section. On this screen, you get a brief description of the contents and how to use the app. Click download to download or launch if you've already downloaded it before. Tap launch. After downloading the app, you are given some selections to get you started. Sightseeing walks, gives you some pre-selected curated walks in the city you downloaded. For example, Toronto history walks, Toronto museums and galleries, orientation tour of Toronto, etc. Let's take a look at Toronto history walk. At the top, you have a map with pins that represent all the stops in the walk. However, since this is a free version, you will need to upgrade to have access to the map, which I'll do later so you guys can see. Next, you have the distance of the walk and the approximate time it will take to complete it. Before that is a little description of the walk and pictures with descriptions and distance of your current location to the site and landmark on the walk. First is the Canada Life Building. Tapping it will give you a description of the site or landmark. Click the arrow to go back. Discovery Walks focuses on specific neighborhoods in the city. Let's take a look at my neck of the woods, the Danforth. After you tap it, you get some pictures of the neighborhood, a description, and the map. Remember, in the free version, you don't get access to the map. Click the arrow to go back. Custom walks allow you to create your own walks. At the bottom are options such as exit, help, and save. Click exit to go back. Save tracks is a way to track where you walk in the city. On the bottom menu, aside from the main menu, you have a city map. Tapping the city map, gives you some additional choices here at the top. Let me run through them real quick. First is the magnifying glass. Type in what you're looking for. The pin gives you some choices to help filter what you want displayed on the map. Show all sites, show saved locations, etc. Plus allows you to save a personal location like a hotel or Airbnb. Give it a name, take a picture, etc. Locate me find your current location in the city. The three lines are a list of all your saved locations, and the four squares are a list of quick search items like hotels, parking, etc. Back at the bottom, Upgrade is your way to go pro. Attractions is a list of attractions in the city listed alphabetically with the search option at the top. A to Z button beside the search bar gives you some additional filter options. Lastly, there's a feedback tab. Let's take a look at travel articles. Travel articles are individual articles written by travel bloggers and travel writers based on sites, landmarks, restaurants, neighborhoods, festivals, etc. It's what we do best. Let's take a look at my travel blog and a post called Things to Do in Casablanca in 48 Hours. 
If I scroll down to the navigation section of the post, you will find a link that will take you to this post standalone GPS My City app. That's right, my blog post has its own GPS app. Tap it and it will bring you to the app store. Remember to purchase it costs $2.79 American. You'll be able to read the post, but once you upgrade, you'll have all the places listed in the article on the map. While in the main app, if you search Casablanca, you will find the city's city walk section, followed by the travel articles associated with that city. And voila, here's mine. Each article can be linked to an individual app from the Travel Blogger's website and they can be found within the main app of the standalone app for the city that the blog post is about. Lastly, let's take a look at those pro features. In the pro version, all the maps for all the walks are accessible. So tap Sightseeing Walks and uh, let's take a look at the Central Park Attractions Walk. Here is a description and all the attractions within the walk. But best of all, here is the map with all the attractions laid out. And the blue dots represent other points of interest. Let's take a look at Discovery Walks, because now all the Discovery Walk maps are now active. Here is a Soho Shopping Walk. Fun fact, in the neighborhood of Soho, Soho stands for South of Houston, as in Houston Street. NoHo stands for North of Houston. Scrolling down, we hit travel articles. All the travel articles are written by travel bloggers and will be listed and available for purchase. That's pretty much it. Visit the link in the description to see all the articles I currently have linked to GPS My City and buy one or two. Help support this blog that I know you guys love so much. Also, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.